Hello and welcome to the Assistance League of Southern California. We're here at their Hollywood Multipurpose Senior Center to find out about their new Wellness Club program for the seniors of the Hollywood area. So let's go on inside and find out what's happening. special day because we are opening up our new wellness center which is right across the way so after you have your tests I encourage you to go across the way into the wellness center our fitness monitor Mauricio is there our project manager Denise right here in the pink at the doorway is there and they'll give you a chance to try out some of the equipment a little bit and talk with you about joining our wellness club. So um, we want to thank you for coming today. We want you to participate in all the screenings which have been provided by the Partners in Care Foundation. Brenda Vasquez and her staff are here to check you out to see if you're fit and to help you get registered for our new wellness center and wellness club. So we're really happy that you're here. We hope you take advantage of all the opportunities. And then at the end of the day, later on today, around 1 o'clock, we will have the drawing for the little door prizes that you see over there. So we want you to be sure to get a test, to get a test, and get in the door prize drawing, get a ticket right over here at registration. Thank you again for coming, and have a good time. I'm here with Brenda Vasquez, a program director with Partners in Care. Now, they've been collaborating with the Hollywood Senior Center here on opening the Wellness Center. Brenda, tell me, what's a Wellness Center? The Wellness Center. You know, Helen, it's a vision that we had years ago. I mean, Barbara's leadership, uh, you know, she has a strong background in physical activity. And uh, for many years, uh, we've been playing with the idea of, you know, the ideal, the, the, the ideal of the new senior center. What is that going to become? And there's always been a, a physical fitness component to it. We've always envisioned a jam. And after eight years, I think, of dreaming it up, she finally was able to bring all the resources together along with the funding and, and the collaboration with partners to open up this wonderful facility that is going to incorporate a number of resources that we have available through de the Department of Aging. You know Partners in Care is the state office for uh, dissemination of evidence-based programs uh, through the California Department of Aging. So we're involved very much right now in rolling out evidence-based programs throughout not just the state but especially the city of Los Angeles uh, through the Department of Aging's initiative of, of transitioning to evidence-based programs uh, in terms of health promotion. So we've been doing this program for many years. Uh, we invented something called the Wellness Clubs because it was a way for us to really attract and engage elders from, from around the city, but specifically elders from d diverse backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So the clubs allowed us to really tailor uh, the attraction element and the engagement element to the cultures to make it relevant to the different cultures and languages and, and literacy levels of the different groups. We cover the entire city and you know LA is vast. Mm -hmm. um, so they gave us that flexibility and, and it, it sort of caught on. People like to come together and they like to put on their t-shirt and feel like they belong to something in common and our health is our common theme. It's our universal language. We all want to feel well. We all want to be well. Uh, and there's no reason why we can't come together in a community setting and share our goals and hold, hold each other accountable. Uh, it's, it's just terrific. It's been working out well. This center is going to help us prove that. And not only do we work with evidence-based programs, but we're always looking to develop the new practices and the new trends uh, that are going to help, especially the new baby boomers that are coming out 
and going to be a, main, a big part of this, uh, to be engaged in healthy lifestyles and in ways that they can enjoy and, yeah, and share together. So true. Uh, I really found, for me, when I came here today, it's the first time I've seen the center, um, and it's really impressive. And I really thought, OK, I can come here. I can right. come and join. You know, I'm a baby boomer. I'm a boomer. I can come along and join this center and be attracted to come here on a regular basis. And whereas one of the senior centers, I perhaps wouldn't be so <laughs> That's the idea, in, Helen. So, you know, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm case in proof that this is going to attract baby boomers and, and younger, older adults, apprentice seniors to come along and join in activities. And you know what's interesting, you know, and I'll let Barbara speak more on this, but uh, the, the model itself, the concept of opening up the fitness center to the community at large. So after seniors go home, you know, now you have employers or employees in this area, maybe residents, yeah. that will have access to the center and to the fitness, the physical fitness facility. Uh, that's phenomenal because I think you know we're also moving in a direction where we need to become sustainable we need to develop new forms of revenue streams that can help support uh, the nonprofit organizations that are delivering these services and this particular model is going to really test and see are we able to gain memberships from other members of the community that can come and use the facility at later times of the day uh, so we're, we're hoping that that will be a successful model and will really support uh, to the continuation of these programs. It's really very exciting. It's just, you know, the first of the kind for the um, City of Los Angeles Department of Aging. Um, it's really exciting to see what's going to happen in the coming months and years. Uh, you can sign me up. So, so I'm going to be member number one of the baby boomer generation. So come and join me here at the Hollywood Multipurpose Center. Thanks very much, Brenda. Great to talk to you. Thank you, Helen. Hello and welcome to The Empowered Patient. We're here again at the Hollywood Wellness Center and uh, we have some wonderful guests today and Gloria, Gloria Vock is here doing some exercise. Looks like you're working very hard there. Uh, what, you want to take a break there on that? Sure, thank you. Just finish the set. Hi, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you. So tell me, uh, how long have you been exercising? Well, I've been exercising um, for the last year, uh, taking it seriously because I have um, a history of diabetes, high blood pressure, and uh, heart disease in our family. So a common, common story, a lot of people with these illnesses running in their family, uh, genetic diseases, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, uh, these kind of things. So you're using exercise as a way to reduce your risk of... Yes, I am. So I've been using the exercise and physical activity booklet. It's helped me stay motivated and on track. I'm able to chart all of my um, daily activities and then I I check them weekly and monthly. Okay, great. So you're referring to this booklet that we've been uh, discussing, Exercise and Physical Activity. It's a go, part of the Go for Life campaign of the National Institute on Aging. Uh, it's available for free to all of us out there, so I definitely recommend that older adults call in and uh, get a copy of this booklet. So you find that this has been helping you stay on track. Absolutely, and it gets me very motivated. So, so you saw in here you said, look, I need to reduce my risk of getting these illnesses that are running in my family. Yes. And the only way I'm going to do that is by staying physically active. Absolutely. So you got some information in what, you follow exercises in this booklet? Or? Yes, I do. They're very easy to follow. And uh, once I get to like 10 reps, I increase them each, each day or each week, depending on how I'm feeling. But my main problem and my goal was to do some type of physical activity every day. I wasn't able to do it till I started using the charts in there, and so now I stay very focused. That's great. So you were, you're using these charts to meet your goal of doing a little something every day. Yes. And you realize that you can break it up into strength exercises, Absolutely. flexibility exercises, endurance exercises, so that you don't have to do the same thing every day. You can mix it up. Yes. So today I see you doing some strength exercises, and you do some endurance exercises as well? Yes, I do, and lots of cardio, and I try to do a little yoga. Great, so great. The book is very beneficial in that respect. So as you're going through, you have different activities that you log in your log here. Yes. And uh, that helps you keep track of the total of what you're doing over weeks and then months. Yes, it does. That's great. And you mentioned that when you're doing your strength exercises, how many reps do you try and do? I try to do at least 10. And then if I've already done 10, I build on that. 
and each day I give myself a little bit of gold. I see, because if you're doing, if you can't do 10, the weight's probably too high. That's true. But if you can do 100, then the weight's true. probably not enough. Yes. So you're trying to get in that 10 to 15 range and where you're doing it with proper form and everything. Yes. So, and this booklet's helped you do all that. It has. It's making me very motivated. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, do you have any other thoughts that you'd like to share for the viewers at home? Well, I've, I've noticed that my strength is a little, I'm a little bit stronger. I can lift, almost lift my husband, but not quite. All right, all right. I think that'll be my next goal. That's your next goal, lift the husband. Okay. Well, you heard it here first on the Empowered Patients. We're lifting husbands. We're living longer. We're living better. And we're calling the Department of Aging to get this booklet that's available free to all of us. We want to hear from you. Uh, give us a call. Order the booklet, Exercise and Physical Activity, by calling the number below. Uh, have a wonderful time getting healthy. Now I'm with Denise, who is the Programme Manager here at the Wellness Centre. Denise, how do seniors take advantage of these amazing facilities? Because these machines really are state of the art. Well, we accept any senior who is above 50, 50 and older, and there's three types of memberships. There's a regular membership, which is for people who are 50 through 59, they pay $40. Then we have a senior membership, which is seniors who are 60 and older, they pay 20 and then we have the wellness club members who pay $10 and they have access to the gym, activities that we plan, and they have access to the computer classes. Okay. And do they also have their health monitored during a period of time if they belong to the wellness club? Yes, we have two fitness monitors. We have one in the morning from 9 to 1 and then another one from 3 to 7 who are always on site watching them. So they can get advice about how to use the machinery because that's really important that they're using the machinery in the correct way to get the most out of it. So they have somebody here who will yes, we help do. them come and get them. Yes, and they will show them how to use all the machines and make sure that they are comfortable using them by themselves. Mm -hmm. And do they, can they have a program for them, customized program? Yes. This is a really important program for seniors, both for their physical and cognitive health. Tell me, how can low-income seniors take advantage of the program? We have financial assistance where seniors just need to provide the proper documentation, such as um, bank statements or proof of income or Medi-Cal cards, and they will get a reduced fee. So it really is truly open to anybody yes. in, the lo in the local community yes. in the Hollywood area? Yes. That's great. Denise, thanks so much for spending some time with us today. We're looking forward to learning more about the centre after the break. Before approaching an intersection. So that's why two wrong turns don't make a right turn. Now let's learn about tailgating. Hey, that's how I got my ticket. You got a ticket for tailgating? That's not good. That can be really annoying. Doesn't get you there any faster. It leaves you no distance to break. Which makes it easier to get into a crash. And it also may increase your insurance premium. And I hate tailgaters. Tailgating causes crashes. Back off. Watch the road. Remember, pets need to prepare for disasters too. Put together an emergency kit with water, a water bowl, food, and any medications they may need. Get the message. Be prepared. We're here in the Wellness Center with EJ Vasquez, who is a program assistant with Partners in Care. EJ, how did you get involved with this project? You know, um, I've always wanted to work with seniors and helping them with wellness in their life and um, being uh, involved in the community, giving back, and all sorts of things like that that have really helped me to uh, gain a lot of access into a different um, generation, you know, and being able to bring uh, a lot of um, energy and enthusiasm and just love to the community. So. So what is it that you have learned from working with Partners in Care that you're actually bringing to the center here? You know, I've learned a lot of that giving back to the community isn't about ourselves. It has nothing to do with you. All it is is serving them, you know, giving them uh, hope for the next day. A lot of the times the seniors, um, 
you know, are happy to just wake up and be able to come to the center and be able to um, say, you know, it was a great day because I did wake up and I'm here and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to have fun and exercise and do whatever activity we're doing for the day. Is this the first time you've been involved in an environment like this, this wellness center? It is. It is actually my first time. So it's been a pretty great experience. And what type of activities have you started or you know, will you be implementing in the next few weeks? Um, actually, we are doing um, an evidence-based program uh, for arthritis exercise classes. Okay. And um, we're going to be doing that as, as well as working with um, brain activities to stimulate their mind and get them just uh, recharged for the day and being excited about, about life. So it's physical and cognitive Exactly, activities. yes. Excellent. So now I understand you have done the brain game here mm -hmm. today, so we'll take a look at that. For sure. Um, I had a go at it and I scored badly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe you can give me some tips on what I need to do to improve my cognitive awareness. Sure. So let's have a look at the brain game. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and call whoever's hand I see first, and I'm going to call on you and you give me the answer. And then I want you, if you get it right, I want you to write a line on your paper, okay? Just a little tally mark so I know that you got a point. And at the very end, whoever gets the most points from the questions and activities that we do will win this awesome blue bag full of goodies. Yes, that's right. Okay, passengers on an unsinkable luxury liner wine and dine. Shake the And consider before disaster hits, it starred Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. I saw, I saw hers. Let me see the hand. Titanic. Titanic, is it? Yay, okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the animal kingdom. All right, let's see here. When Dorothy landed in Oz, this pet was all she had from home. Dog. Dog. Um, let's see. Toto the dog, you got it. All right, go ahead and mark a tally. In dice, what are snake eyes? One. Let's see. One dot on each dice. Very nice, very nice. How many dwarves did Snow White find in the woods? I saw Seven dwarves. Seven dwarves. Seven. Let's see, can you name them? Eno, uh -huh. No, no, can, can you name the dwarves? Oh, name the dwarves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that extra credit? Yeah. Uh, it would be an extra point if you get it all. Is that right? Yeah. It's Smiley? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'm Smiley. sorry. No. What? No. What? I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. Seven. <laughs> Sneezy, <laughs> dopey, dog, bashful, grumpy, sleepy, happy. Happy. All right. Smiley. No. It's good. It's good. It's good though. No, because I can be smiley, but I can be miserable. Sightseeing. In what city or country would you see these sites? Okay, I'm going to list the sites. I'm for CPS. The pyramids. I saw his again. Egypt. And we have Cairo or Egypt. Very good, very good. Remember not to call out the answer, else I can't call you. Okay, we're ready. Next question is the Great Wall. China. Oh, don't shout it out, but I saw your hand. Okay, superstitions. Rubbing a rabbit's foot will bring you what? Good luck. Luck. Good luck. Very good. Very good. Go ahead and mark a point. So I want everybody to take a couple seconds, memorize these shapes. Okay? Can everybody see it? Everybody sees the shapes? Triangle. Triangle. You got a triangle. And what else do you have there? A square. A square. Okay, memorize it. I'm going to change it. Ready? One, two, three. It's changed. So we're going to come back to that later. Let me see. You will need a pen and pencil for this game, so everybody has one, right? Okay. And let's go ahead and start. Go ahead and look at these words. And, oh, sorry. I want you to go ahead and look at these words right now. And just try to memorize all the words that you can see. Okay? Just go ahead and take a couple seconds to look at those words. All right? And five, four, three, two, one, and okay. Now write down as many of the words you can remember. Ready and begin. Go ahead and start writing. Go ahead and start writing the words that you can remember. That's awesome, you're the winner. You win. You are a winner of this awesome blue bag full of great goodness. Yes, no, you had more than her. Well, just take the prize, you're good, you're good, you're good, yeah. All right, it's okay. 11. She counted 11. You still had more. Yeah. All right. Woo! 
Okay, great job everybody. And that is our activity for today. That was really fun. As you can see, I scored badly. <laughs> now, what exactly do the seniors get from activities such as this? Because obviously they're to stimulate cognitive mm -hmm. awareness. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that you can measure from these games? Yeah, exactly. They come in here. At first, they're not really sure of what it is that we're doing. I explain it to them. It's great for them to, again, uh, co cognitively being able to um, take instruction, um, uh, be with uh, other seniors, be able to play a game, do activities that stimulate their mind as well as their social uh, life. They come in here and we um, explain the game to them. Uh, and a lot of the times, they at first, they'll be a little hesitant to the game, but as you see throughout the time, they're open, they're, they're loud, they're lively, they're shouting out answers, I'm like, wait, 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 you know, I have to explain to them how it actually is gonna go. But it's great for them overall. Um, the, the, the things that we uh, discuss will be, you know, big movies, and they, they know it, they, they memorize it, you know, they, they remember from the past um, the different things we're doing uh, with words, and it, it's very stimulating to them. Um, being able to come and even just an activity like a brain game to get their minds going. So. so with games like this as they progress over the course of weeks, I guess wellness club members can actually be assessed at the start and maybe further down the program to see you know, how they are doing mm -hmm. in terms of cognition. Exactly, exactly. Totally used as a, um, a gauge to see where they're at. You know, and, and over time you will see improvement with them um, because as you know repetition is, is huge, you know, especially with the seniors. So. That's really great, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be right back with more activities from the Wellness Centre. As individuals sign up, we will have them take a fitness test. Uh, some of the baseline testing was being done today, flexibility, strength, balance. Uh, we'll also do blood pressure, we'll do body fat readings. And then at three, six and nine month intervals, we will go back and retest to see how well they are doing, probably highlighting some of the um, fitness center, wellness center members of the month and um, monitoring their progress so that they can be able to see how beneficial the program is to them. I'm here with Barbara Linsky, the Executive Director of Hollywood Multipurpose Senior Center, and she's going to tell us how this great new wellness center got off the ground. Barbara. Thank you. Um, a couple of years ago, unfortunately, the state of California decided not to um, sponsor the Alzheimer's Daycare Resource Centers. And as a result, we were left with some very valuable space. Um, we got into some discussions with Partners in Care Foundation and the City of Los Angeles Department of Aging, and they came up with the suggestion that we try a pilot project. And it's always been my dream to have a fitness center here at at the Assistance League's Hollywood Senior Center. So um, with the help of the City of Los Angeles Department of Aging and Partners in Care Foundation, we were able to develop this pilot program called our Wellness Center. And so today is the day we're having the open house and a mini health fair to introduce the Wellness Center to the seniors in our Hollywood community. Um, we have life, life fitness exercise equipment, but we're also offering the Senior Wellness Club where um, active older adults can participate in socially engaging activities and evidence-based programs and also use the fitness equipment to advance their healthy lifestyles. Yeah, it's really amazing. I've been looking today and talking with some of the seniors and obviously they're very excited to see this really new concept in senior centre uh, programming. The federal government is looking to um, support more preventive kind of uh, programs right. that okay. will help keep seniors healthier and in their own homes okay. for, as, for as long as possible. So we're endeavouring to do that and to uh, provide more preventative kind of programs similar to a matter of balance, uh, chronic disease self-management, which are some of the uh, programs offered by Partners in Care. We're also um, looking to encourage more of the baby boomers to get started earlier. So we're looking to have a, a membership category for 50 to 59 year olds so that 60 is the new 40 kind of concept and encourage those folks to get started earlier as well as accommodating some of the, um, the older adults, the 60, the 70 and 85 and up category. 
Yeah, I've been, you know, looking around today and I was really impressed. I just really can't believe the quality of the facilities here and what's on offer. And I really think I'm going to come and join up. Well, you know, good. seriously, here. I'm going to come. <laughs> have a paper, we can sign you right up right now. Absolutely. I really think I'm going to encourage other people I work with. You know, we're just down the road here. What a great place to come. You know, and in, interact with seniors as well. We can come and do that. Enjoy the um, companionship of the seniors. Get some exercise. Do some of the cognitive games, this type of thing. And just really be involved right. in another aspect of this community. So it's a very exciting time, I think, for even us younger baby boomers. Uh, we're trying yeah. to do more socially engaging activities to encourage individuals to come in rather than staying home and sitting alone by themselves, but to participate and to enter here to find and be a friend, mm -hmm. to share um, experiences together. And we also have a computer lab right next door where people will be able to um, get on the internet and we will have computer classes so that they can be uh, more aware of what's out there in the area of technology, in the field of technology. We did um, some research before we started and we visited a number of senior centers in Los Angeles County and we found um, that the facilities were packed. Mm. And so that said to us, we, you know, there is a need for this kind of programming and if we build it, they will come. And that was clearly evidence today. I think we had about 100 people coming to our health fair and open house and um, trying out the equipment and getting ready to sign up to be a part of um, the Senior Wellness yeah. Center. I think what's encouraging too, you know, everybody was so excited about it, but it seems whatever their level of income, whether they can afford to pay the full membership or not, they can actually come and take part and use these facilities at a sliding scale rate. So it's just right. encouraging that it is inclusive of everybody in the community. Yes. That's so great. We have the great, wonderful support of the Assistance League of Southern California members. This is the founding chapter for Assistance League. And they're very committed to offering these kinds of programs to the low-income individuals in the community. So we have developed a financial assistance program where they will help raise some funds to um, assist low-income individuals so that everybody will have an opportunity to participate in the Wellness Center, regardless of income. As always, Barbara, it's a pleasure to be here at Hollywood Center, always at the forefront of programming. We always know, you know, whatever's newest in the game, then it's going to be happening here at Hollywood. Um, great friend of the program. We always appreciate your participation. Thank you so much for being well, thank here today. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming and highlighting our Senior Wellness Center. Thank you.